Hi there, my name is Derek. Welcome to another episode of Guitar Garage. Today I'm going to be showing you how to take care of your pedals, your pedal board, your pedal connectors, electrical power connectors, as well as the jack cables that run in between the pedals. You'll be surprised what a difference it makes to your sound. So stay tuned. The problem with pedal boards, especially when you're living in countries where there's a high or even a moderate amount of humidity in the air, is that most of your contacts get corroded with time. They don't get so, so much corroded as get covered with a layer of oxide on, the, uh, on all contacts, especially electrical contacts. But any metal surface that makes contact with the air, with humid air, is going to get some type of an oxidation on it. If it's not a direct corrosion that attacks the metal, it's actually a th an invisible film that covers your contacts. And you'll notice your pedal board sounding uh, just not right over time. I, I don't even know the correct word to describe it, but yeah, it doesn't sound right. So here's some really easy stuff that you can do at home to make your pedal board. And, and you can do this with your guitar cables, you can do this with any of your electrical stuff that you use to, while playing to make it sound right again, to get it performing at its optimum. And I don't know if you can see this, but I've got these plugs over here, which are, uh, you know, just pedal plugs. If you look at them uh, in the light, you can actually see over here, it's gone kind of dull. And this is a really good indication of uh, this, this oxidation that is taking place on these things. And it's just dirt. It's, it's dirt that kind of electrolytically gets attracted to the metal surfaces of your connectors and your plugs. So now I'm going to show you some really quick and easy stuff to do to make those contacts really crisp and clean and it just brings back the sound to what it should be when that pedal and when this stuff was new. Now you would think that uh, power plug, uh, that's, that, can't be, that can't really affect the sound, but actually it can. Uh, it, the problem is that with resistance, uh, what happens is this, this, this film of uh, whatever it is that, that, that builds up on here creates a resistive layer. And anytime there's resistance in an electrical circuit, it means that the electrical current has more difficulty flowing across that contact. And anytime that electrical current has a resistance to flow, it generates noise. And over time, and as this re resistance builds up, it, that, that noise uh, can get worse and worse. And also, maybe this contact is making good contact, maybe that contact's making a little bit less of a good contact. And then you can have things like earth looping taking place and so on. So generally, cleaning up your, your connectors and your cables cleans up your sound as well. So, let's get on with what I wanted to show you. Because you don't need any special stuff in particular to do this. What I have I have a paintbrush, so I can give my pedals a good dust off and that, and uh, just make them look good again. I like my stuff to look good. But, more importantly, you don't need any special chemicals. What I've been using is normal window cleaner. Window cleaner is actually a really good stuff for cleaning it up. So what I've got is one of these lint-free cloths, and I just spray it onto a corner. So there's, you can feel it's wet, and I have one corner that's wet. And then I'll just go ahead and clean off the connectors on each cable until I can see and, and try to get right in the bottom there, you know, till I can see that they're nice and shiny. And then I can dry it off with, it, with the rest of the, the rack because I'm not, uh, I'm not using the rest of I've not wet the rest of the rack, put it that way. And so we just do it with all of these connectors. These I've actually done already. Uh, I'll do the same again just for purposes of demonstration. And then, now the nice thing about glass cleaner, window cleaner, is the ingredient in it is not a solvent. It's not going to attack the rubber or the insulation of your cables. And when you're done, they look good and new again. And everything is like the day you bought it. So let's have a look at this guy. Let's see how it works here. Oh, now, what I do is I try to get right back and I get in there and I give it a good cleaning. Alright. And now, I think you can see quite nicely, 
that this guy, see I'll just give it a twist and I'll pinch it real tight. If I hold it next to it's uh, the one that's not been cleaned, you can actually see the difference. So hopefully that helps. Now you've got to do this with all of them of course, which I will do. And all of your daisy chains, get them cleaned up. All of your jack connectors, get them cleaned up. And then I want to talk about the inside of your pedals. Because, of course, corrosion can build up on the inside of that. And once again, window cleaner, and what I have here is like an Allen key, and I just, uh, or what the Americans call a hex wrench, and I just sort of get it kind of in the corner of that rag where I uh, wet it with a bit of window cleaner. This takes a bit of balancing, and you've got to be careful, it mustn't go in too tight. Otherwise you can have problems, so feel around with it till you get it right. And then you get in there and give it a twist and get it nice and clean on the inside as well. Try to get down far because remember that if you look at it, this is the distance you want to go in uh, to get to where the tip makes contact as well and not just the sleeve. And uh, you get the all contacts nice and cleaned out again. Uh, this stuff really works well. I did it on my pedal board last night for the first time in a while, and I immediately noticed a difference. So I hope that's helpful. I hope that's informative, and I hope that you do the same and get your stuff sounding and working good. And by the way, this works on your guitar cables as well as on your amplifier input sockets. You give those a clean, uh, if, you're, if you're having an amp for a while and it's sounding kind of dull and, and weird. And you'll also notice the way to do the test is, uh, if, whether this is, has happened already to yours, is if you take your pedal, plug it in, get it plugged into the amplifier. And once it's all set up, move the cable. Move your audio cables, have a listen. Just to hear if they're crackling as you move them when they are plugged in. Uh, sorry, it goes in there. So give it a move. If it goes crackle, crackle, crackle while that's moving, it's time for a clean. And the same for your power connections. If it's in installed and you, you move it like that and you hear it crackling, it's time for a clean. And then you get in there with a little bit of glass cleaner, window cleaner, and clean it up. You'll be surprised at how much of a difference it actually makes. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, hope it was informative and we'll see you again sometime soon for another Guitar Garage special. Bye!